you kind of try and lean back a bit because that kind of helps you not to go like that so that you don't follow the front knee. You want to follow the back knee going down. So uh, let's try. So what helps your stability is engaging your core. Your core is this muscle. It's like the, you see how an insect has head, thorax, ab abdomen. <laughs> so thorax is our core, the midsection of your body. And the strength of your core determines everything, how you move. So we're going to also do a bit of core. But yeah, so as you're going down, I want you to try and imagine someone is punching you in the stomach. That helps you to kind of, not to hold your breath, but in Afsaidia Ku, kind of tighten those muscles and you just go down being a bit stable and then you come up. Also engaging the bum bum. So make sure you're engaging. So this back leg, I'm squeezing the bum here. And then as I go down, it's super engaged. So it still helps to go down stable. Hey, let's try it. Can you try it? Three, two, one. Let's go down. Yes, and up. Let's bring it up. Very good. So, mom, you'll put your leg, your, your back foot will go a bit more behind. So let's, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. A bit further behind. Yes, the back one. Forward, yes. Yeah. The reason why is because when your back knee is too close, you're going to go forward. You're going to come forward, but you don't come forward. So we want to kind of lean back as we go down. Let's try, let's try. Yeah, you can even put your hand forward. Yeah, yeah, these are different. Good, I up, up, up. <laughs> okay, one more time, let's go. Two more times, let's go, so that I can see. Yeah, wow, that's good, that's good. Hi, let's go for another one. Oh, yeah, bring it up, bring it up. <laughs> Hi, another one. So this back needs to be further, 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 further. No, no, you can come up, you can come up. Oh, you can come up. So back knee behind again, back knee behind. And then bring it down now. Exactly, see, much better, good. Higher, so the reason me, I don't usually work out with my class is because I usually go around looking at form. Because if we do improper form, then you're not going to be working the correct muscle. So that's why I usually have someone to demonstrate and me, I look. Okay, can we try to do the other leg? So switch legs, bring the other leg forward. <laughs> Keep it forward. All right, we're going to do the same thing. So let's take it down, chest up, take it down. Bring it up. Ah, let's take it down again. Ah, chest up, yeah, bring it up. Let's take it down one more time. Very good, up, 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 okay. <laughs> good job, okay, good, good, good. You guys are, you're strong, yeah? Very strong girls. So, so the other move we're going to, so those are two movements that really strengthen your, your quad, these are quad muscles or your front thigh muscles, your back thigh muscles, and your bum. And those muscles are very important in climbing the stairs, in picking up things that they protect your lower back from having injury and from becoming worn out. Okay, the next movement we're going to do is, uh, uh, I hope you guys are okay um, with cleaning the floor. It's okay, it's not, it's not dirty. So, so Lorraine, you'll just get into a plank. You'll be surprised at how strong you are, imagine. <laughs> so, We'll do that, but if you can't hold it up, it's very okay. Just drop your knees. You'll just drop like that, okay? So the cues are shoulder, elbow, wrist, one line. And then here, the hips are in front, so she's not behind here. She's not there, she's come in front. So that engages this, the core. So that's the core, that's the place that we are going to you, you need to learn to strengthen that because that one helps in every movement. Okay, so we can try. We can try this one. Yeah. 
You can put your knees down. Yeah, you can do it with the knees down. So you just lift the hips. Just lift the hips alone. Exactly. Just that way. But you know, by the way, it really works. Even when you're modifying, it's still engaging the core. Yeah, you can put the knees on the floor. Yeah. You see, that's fine. Yes, that's good. Good, good, good. Very good. Okay, you can go down until I reach you so that you're not getting tired. You can go down until I reach you. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. That's good. Bring the hips up. So now your hips will be up. Yes, that one, that way. Good, you can go down, you can go down. Hips up also. So your hips here. Yes, good. Yes, good. Good. You can modify. You can modify if you need to. Higher. You can go down. Back row. Bring the hips up. Hips up. Take the knees down. You can take the knees down. Knees on the floor and just bring the hips up. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, so what you'll do when you feel like your wrists, because I know it may be the first time for you to do this, you can put the elbow instead. If you feel like it's a lot of weight on your wrist, you can just go down on the elbow, same thing. So if any weight on your wrist, just do the elbow. That's better? Okay. <laughs> yeah, good. Sour. Yeah, so it's your preference. If you prefer the high one, it's okay. If you want the low one, still works the core. Good, 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 guys. You can, you can drop it. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> drop it. Good job. Okay. One last one, one last one, one last one. So Lorraine, um, this, okay, not this, it. like Russian twist, baby. Russian twist position. The last one we learn, we've only learned four movements, yeah? So the last one we learn, yeah? Yeah, you keep going, yeah. So we can also have a seat and we do this one. So this one works your abdominal muscles, also still engaging the core. So the way, yeah, so you sit down, you can bend your knees slightly, hands straight over your knees. So hands straight over your knees, bring the knees up. Yeah, good. Then you lean forward, lean back just a bit, not forward, back. So you already feel, yeah, good. From there, you just take it side to side a bit, like that, in that position. Yeah. So your palms will go down towards the floor as you're turning. So you turn all the way with your chest, with your chest, not just your hands. Yeah, exactly, ma'am. That's good. Yes, good. Yes, guys. Very good. Ah, this one is simple. All right. All right. Done, done, guys. Okay, we can get up. Good job. All right, let's get up. So now we're getting into there. Workout. Yeah, that was demonstration. So why I do this session is because I want your body to get familiar with the movement as you're doing it. So we'll only do, we have, I need to, we have, a, we're going to do it, 20 minutes. So this workout will last only 10 minutes. Imagine. Of course, it, it could be longer, but today we're short of time. So we'll do only those four movements, and now we have learned them. So what we're going to do is we're going to move for 30 seconds of movement and then 10 seconds you rest and then again for the four movements. So I will guide you and my sister also will be doing the movements. So in case you, you, you just need to remember the, the, the form, you just look at her. And as I will be going through as well so that I can help you. Uh, so we'll start with the squat. We remember... Sour. So remember, feet shoulder width apart. That's how we are beginning. All right, hands forward, straight forward. All right, we are doing it for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. So we'll start with the squat. Remember the hips all the way back as if you want to sit on something behind you. Very good, very good. Yes, good job. Remember to squeeze the bum at the top. Very good, that's good. Yes, wow, your squats are good, yeah? Good job. Yes, good control. Yeah. Very good. Awesome. So don't be in a hurry to come up. Just engage your muscle. Keep
Keep going and done. All right, rest up for 10 seconds. Rest up 10 seconds. We're going to do squats one more time. So each movement, we'll do them for two, two times, two rounds. All right, three, two, one. Let's start again the squats. So taking it down. Let's go. Down and up. Yes. Squeezing the bum, remember. Good job. Squeeze the bum. Take the, the feet a bit a bit closer. Yeah. Not so close. Yeah. Good. Yes. Good. Push the hips behind. Way behind. Yes, exactly. Keep going. Very good. You guys are doing well. Keep going. Good. Good. And done. Done, done. Good. Wow. Good job. Okay. The next one is the lunge. So let's have one foot forward. One foot forward. So we'll start with one side first. All right. In three, two, one. Let's go. Down and up. Remember, keeping the chest up. Just follow the back knee. So kind of lean back as you're going down. Kind of. Go all the way down. Let's go. Good job. Good job. Keep it up. Yes, that's much better. Good job. Good job, guys. Let's go. That's good. A few seconds. Awesome. Rest. 15 seconds. Higher. Rest. Same side. Same side. We'll do same side first. Then we'll go to the other side. Yeah, you can shake off your leg. Yeah, that's helpful. Higher. Two, one. Let's start again. Same side. Down and up. Good job. Very good. Yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Awesome. So take this leg a bit forward. Much forward. Much forward. Yeah. Let's try again. Good. Let's go. Yes. That's better. Much better. Good job. Yes. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. You're doing well. Good. And rest. Higher. Switch sides. Higher. Switch sides. Switch sides. So other leg forward. You're going to start in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Let's go. Yes. Just keep it that way, Kabisa. Very good. You got it. Good job. Phew. Okay. Ten seconds. Rest. Yeah. Done. Done. Hi. Rest. 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 Done. <laughs> rest. Same side one more time. Hi. Shake it off. In three, two, one. Let's go. Same side. Chest up always. Remember to lean back as you're going down. More space here, more space. Lean back as you go down. Yes, good. Very good. Yeah. Control. Yeah, good. Let's go. Engage the bum bum, remember. Mm -hmm. Bring it up. Good. Yes, that's good. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Remember to lean back. Good job, good job. Done, done, okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, so, good job, good job. Now we're going to go down to the Russian twist. Yeah? No, we'll do that. We'll finish with the plank. So, we'll go here. At least this one is, yeah. You get a break on your legs. <laughs> okay. Same, yeah? Same method. 30 seconds of 30 seconds of walking and 15 seconds rest. I've lost my 30 seconds. Sorry, one second. All right, hands forward, lean back, and we start. So side to side, let's go. Yes, very good. So keep your hands straight as you go to the side. Lean back. So you see, because you don't have any support on your back, it's forcing your abs to keep you up. So that's why it really strengthens your core and your abs. 
You're doing well. You're doing well. You're doing well. Good job. Very good. Wow. Good job. Good job. <laughs> and rest. 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 Okay. <laughs> you can rest. Good job. For this one at least, yeah? Sindio. Okay. Two, one. Let's go again. Russian twist. Only 30 seconds. Side to side. Very good, very good. Few more seconds, just 15 seconds. Just keep going, keep it stable. Very good. Good job, almost. Okay. Okay, and you can rest there. Now, we are going to do the plank, the low plank. The low plank is the one that you're doing on the elbow or the high one, okay? So, we're going to hold that. We'll try. I know you can do it. You can. Hold it for 30 seconds and then 30 seconds again, okay? Just the way we've been doing it. Yeah, so you can switch position to to face. You're doing so well, you're doing so well. <laughs> so remember, all right, one thing, okay, wait, don't start, don't start. I want you to just face here first. Uh, Lorraine, just go in a plank. Yeah, full. So, arc your back. Yeah. No, like in a bad way. Yeah, evil. So, don't do that because uh, I know you can feel, you may feel like, yeah, it's too heavy. Then you let your lower back sink like that. But I would like you not to allow your lower back to sink. If you want to do the full plank, you must raise your hips. So what you're trying to imagine is, yeah. What you're trying to imagine is like, if I put my phone on Lorraine's back, it's not going to fall or here. It's not going to fall. You want to imagine there's a cup of water on your back. So if your back, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that, yes, or tea. <laughs> so that helps you to kind of picture. It's called a plank because we're supposed to look like a wooden plank when you're doing it. Even when you're modifying like that, you don't arc your back, don't nini, it will just let your hips sink. Yeah, so don't let your hips sink that way. Your hips should be off, away from the ground. So you try and imagine where? Yeah, so try imagine there's a cup of tea there. And what else? And even being all the way up, up in a bad way is also not supposed to be that way. Your hips should be just level. Try, you see, imagine how your spine is. Try and, and picture you're trying to keep your spine that way as you're, as you're, as you're in this hold. Okay. So let's do it. So for 30 seconds only. In three, so, so if you feel like you're back in a sink sana, you do the modified one. So we start from there. You can just do the modified one, the modified one end on the elbow. Sour, sour. All right, so three, two, one, only 30 seconds, let's go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so just keep it there, there exactly. Very good. No, just you hold it, hold it. No, but not there. Up, 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 up. Yes, there. Good. Hold it, hold it. Hips up, hips up, hips up, hips up, hips. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Yes, that's that's a really good plank. Good job. When you get okay, done, done, done. When you get tired, don't be afraid to drop on your knees. Yes, rest. Good job. Just rest a bit. I know. It really engages the core, which is very good. We're still down. We're still down. We're still doing the plank again. <laughs> one more time. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, remember, when you get tired, just drop on the knees. That's very okay. Your hips are sinking. Bring them up. 
If any of you bring it up, bring it up. Yes, that's better. Good job, good job. Let's go. A few more seconds. You can hold it. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Breathe, breathe. That helps you. Lift the hips, lift the hips. Awesome. Yeah, or you can modify. And done. Good job. All right, good job. Done, done, done. All right, good job. <laughs> All right, good job. Imagine, you, 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 you're stronger than you think. Yes, you're very strong. Especially if this is a first time thing, you guys are at a very good place. Believe me, I've trained many, many people. So you're at a very good place. So you can really clap for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job, good job. How did it feel? Yeah, it, uh, it was not too hard, yeah? No, oh, that one was warm up, like to prepare our bodies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want more? <laughs> one, the next time, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll come just for a session. Now, just a session alone, we just work out, yeah. But those are very three simple movements you can do at home. And they strengthen the major muscles in your body. Of course, there are many, many exercises to do, but I chose those, those four because they strengthen major, the, like your, the major muscles in your body. They're basic, like you can do them every day. When there's a time hevo, you can even time for longer as you get stronger. You're like, I'll do this lunge for one minute. The lunge can, can be in different ways, the squat can be in different ways, but those are the, the, the ways you can begin with, okay? So that's very good. So we're going to stretch. Yeah. Oh, like your leg muscles. Your leg muscles are major because the, your legs basically contain the most muscles in your entire body. So that's why when you're doing leg workouts, unes are feeling way more tired than when you do any other body parts. And that's why they're also kind of the most a bit, um, uh, let me not call it challenging, but most engaging. Because when you're working out the legs, you're engaging the core and still the leg muscles, like everything. So, yeah. And then the core. The core, like I told you, in a help your whole body to be stable. So it helps in your movements, in your, what's it called? Your posture. When your core is stronger, your posture is stronger. So even when you need to sit for a long time, let's say at work, you're not like this. You're sitting upright. And that, that comes by strengthening the core. It helps. So you're not having back pains or all those things. So, so, so we'll do a very small stretch. Stretching is important also so that your, your muscles go back to form. <laughs> the muscles contract when you're working out. So when you're stretching, you're kind of helping them relax to recover. So Lorraine, you will start with this. So just put your hand across your body like this. Good. So just hold it that way. helps to stretch this upper back also. This upper back. And then you can now switch to the other side. So straight elbow and lock it. Kabisa. Uh, yeah. So three, two, one. Good. All right. Hands down. And then you'll just put this hand here like this. Yeah. Then you're going to bend over like that. So that helps to stretch this side. Just hold it, hold it there. So whenever you're stretching, just hold it there for a few seconds and make sure you're breathing to restore the oxygen back to your muscle. So hold it there for three, two, one, and then other side. So that's helping us to stretch. The part of the core muscles is these muscles on the side, the side abdominal muscles. And that's what you're stretching now because we did the Russian twist and it works those muscles. Three, 
two, one. Good job. Awesome. Good. All right. Now we'll just stand feet together. Then one foot forward like this. Yeah. Then you'll just slide down, maintaining this knee straight. Slide down until, just as far as you can, until you start feeling it here, behind this leg. So you hold it down when you start to feel it behind this leg. And if you're not feeling that, straighten. Make sure this leg is straight. Hold it, hold it. Three, two, one. Good job. Other side. Same thing. So straight leg forward. Good. Slide down. Awesome. Three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Now, how to stretch here? This is the last stretch. You just you can either hold a pole or hold a friend, maybe your neighbor. Then a chair, if there's a chair next to you, just hold something or your friend and you just pull. <laughs> so just hold, yeah, so your knees are together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 you just hold them for stability. Hi, hold it up, hold it up. For three, two, one, good job. Then you switch. Okay, they are good. <laughs> Switch to the other side. Yeah. Teaching us stability also. Right, so three, two, one. Good job. So that stretches this front muscle. Yeah, yes, mom. Yeah, those ones. Sour, sour. So that's it for today for the workout. Good job. You guys, you I'm sorry, I'm used to saying you guys. It doesn't usually mean like, oh, okay, so God. <laughs> yeah, you, you've done really, really well. But exercise is that simple. And when you do it more, you get to enjoy it more. So I'll just give like five minutes for anyone who has a question. Any question? Yes. Okay, uh, please go ahead. Um, talks about eating healthy food, fueling our bodies with the right fuel. Can you give us some highlights? Like you talked about taking too much sugar, oily food, pinachipo, about napenda sana. You can shed some highlights. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's really good. Um, there's a variety of, okay. Now the, sour, sour. There are very good healthy food options. If you love fries, you can do sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are good. There's a whole, right now as we're preparing for the three-month program in our church, um, I'm, I also give them food options. I give them, uh, like, let's see, what you can, good carbohydrates, good proteins, and good, like, veggies, proteins, and, I mean, vitamins. So one of the best source of carbohydrates is, is sweet potato. Now here, like, ngwashe, nakwanga, it's, it's easily available, although these days. But yeah, it's, it's easily available. Gwashe is good. And if you want it fried, there's a way my husband and I, we sometimes, we deep fry, but not for long. The good thing about gwashe, it does not absorb any oil. So it just makes it a bit crispy. And then, in a, in a nene. So if you're really craving fries, that would be a better option. But of course, doing it boiled is much better. Or... Even making a uh, stew. There's this stew also we like to make, not a stew per se, but we mix ndumangwashe and potatoes and tunai stew. It's so yummy and it's very healthy. So that's one of, one of uh, them. There's nduma as well. In terms of now carbohydrates, what you need to do, let me say they don't. Avoid white things. White is not right. <laughs> I just made that up. Okay. But white is not good. Like white rice if you can switch to brown rice that's much better if you can switch to white brown chapati brown ugali or brown either brown ugali or or in etwaje ugali mestiagwa or if you can take maize kwa meal that's even much better because the bad thing about ugali yetu in the supermarkets like jogo and all that over processed very very over processed so what happens is when we have these white foods they turn immediately into sugar 
in our blood levels and they raise insulin and then insulin in turn it, they raise glucose and then they because our bodies produce insulin could try to reduce glucose insulin is produced too much of it and that's usually what causes diabetes when that process keeps happening so or high blood pressure so the white foods have something called hidden sugars because they are so processed so they barely have any kind of nutrients so when you take the brown foods whole meals if you really love bread tafuta whole wheat bread and whole wheat bread usually still even has the wheat grain dani but me just usually say cuz that's usually a bit hard to find and it's a bit more expensive just substitute that bread for like ndumas washe cassava pumpkin pumpkin is really good also um as a source of carbohydrate as well um what else yeah those are good those are good options i think there are more but so it does not come to my mind at the moment in terms of protein white meat is much better than red meat red meat carries a lot of animal fat bado and many times at aqua butcher is it too they leave for us that white part and it's not good because that white part is saturated fat in the animal so when it comes in our bodies it becomes exactly that bado it becomes saturated fat and that type of fat when it builds up even using too much oil causes that fat to build up in our blood vessel and what happens is it can continue hivo what usually happens is you can imagine a pipe that had water keeps running through what happens is there's usually that build up of those minerals of that hard water along the pipe right causing the pipe to be a bit smaller a bit smaller a bit smaller so it's the same with that type of fat in our blood it's running through our blood streams and this this uh, energy residue is left at the side of your blood vessels eventually causing blockage in your blood vessels and that causes hypertension and like those heart attacks many many heart attacks and all those things so stroke because of blockage in the blood vessels they are the ones that cause like thrombosis and all that so yeah protein white if if possible if if it's if it's beef try and make it lean just keep it lean kabisa and not too much and then another source eggs boiled eggs best like that's now my favorite source of protein boiled eggs because they are easily available and it's a myth that eggs cause cholesterol to rise up they do that when you use them with when you keep frying them with too much oil but when you're taking boiled eggs boiled eggs have very good cholesterol and a lot of protein and what you need is a lot of protein because protein helps you to first they help your muscles function and then they help especially if you want to lose a bit of weight but even just to function better protein is much more like it's much more better there's a lot to say about them but yeah you go for the protein but yeah so eggs are a good source of protein boiled yeah and you can't have very you can't have too much of boiled eggs because they're boiled as long as they don't have oil boiled eggs are okay very okay uh yeah that's okay <laughs> yeah yeah yes yes vitamins definitely uh the best fruit is definitely avocado but make sure every day have a fruit like yeah have a fruit if you can even get stuff okay this is a whole other topic on its own acha to nitend because i will be tempted to go all the way in da but yeah so vitamins are very important have a lot make sure also you having a lot of water taking a lot of vitamins from fruits different kind of fruits all fruits are very beneficial don't take too much of okay i love bananas but don't take too much of the, there are some fruits also though that have a lot of like sugary components and that still might be read by your body like it's too much sugar then it does the same process so have a lot of watermelon have a lot of pineapples a lot of you know like okay good stuff avocado my god must have avocado like every day if you can it has the best antioxidants vitamins it has I, avocado is a whole it has almost everything in it so yeah good fats that we need fat is good by the by the good type the bad one is not that's bad um yeah veggies as well 
Don't, don't let veggies sleep in the fridge if you're having veggies. Make a portion that you'll finish that day and don't make them too soft because that kills the nutrients in them. If you can steam, that's even better. If you can steam the veggies. Yeah. In a nutshell, where it, it takes, it's, it's usually um, very, like there's so much that goes into eating. But I usually say, if you can just reduce on the processed foods you're having, have something that was grown in the farm. That's the simplest way to go about it. Yeah. Mm. There's a question, but anyway, I was saying in terms of snacking, like good snacking options are like nuts, for example, like things that are available, or roast maize, right? Yeah, yeah, also snacking, like, um, but yeah, nuts. I love nuts. Nuts are a good source of, of, they have a bit of protein in them, but also they have good oils and fats in them, which is, which are so important because actually our brain, our brain needs the oils and the carbohydrates to function. So many people working here, many diets usually say cut all the carbs, cut, 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 cut. But that's usually wrong because your brain needs the carbohydrates to function and your body needs energy. And carbohydrates are ener energy giving foods as well. But it's just the wrong carbohydrates that we need to cut out. Replace with brown, replace with things that are grown in the farm. That's the simplest way I can put it. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. Let me ask this on behalf of all the women. in 2020, the normal had a growth. Thereafter, my nerves. I cannot hold urine for like four hours from morning to midday. I'm one person who, when traveling, I cannot take a lot of liquid because all the time I need to run to the toilet. How can, what exercises do I need to tighten my Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the, the muscles that hold the, the bladder. And they are finster muscles. And there are exercises called, it's, it's, it's escaping me right now. They engage the pelvic muscles, pelvic flow exercises. Yeah, they're called that. And they help to engage. They're very, the movement in these exercises is very minimal. They're not like a hole, plank holes and all. And it definitely requires uh, like someone taking you through them because by the time you like engage your pelvic muscles, it takes a lot of, what does it say? What do I say? Good, good form. Like you are thinking about it. Like, yeah, but they're called pelvic floor exercises. If you can, you can, you can even YouTube them because there are some online. But yes, you can, I don't think it's a nerve issue per se because you can kind of hold it to an extent, right? Like it's not out of control. It's just the period that you can. So if it was a nerve issue, I, anyway, I don't know what the, I would love to see the complete. What I usually say, me as a personal trainer or as a fitness coach, is that when it comes to like a very specific issue like that, I love to look at the doctor's reports. And that's why I'm usually able to prescribe specifically to someone. Because I don't usually like to do guesswork. <laughs> yeah. So you can take my number maybe and you can you can share if you want. Yeah, you can share with me. Yeah. My question is just uh, as in everybody has some bed, right? And what is the best exercise for finishing up the belly? And also, what's the kind of food we should avoid so that the, the more we exercise, we're not again tired again, the fat again to accumulate the belly fat. And also, for some people who have operation like me, I had ovarian cysts. So, whenever I do sit ups, I can't feel like 
smart phone. So which is the best one I can do to avoid doing the setup that I did again? So that's a good question, and I get it from every, like, many ladies, how we can lose this. But let me tell you, there's no specific exercise that loses only the belly fat. How your body works biologically, it loses fat as a whole, and you, we can't control where it starts. That's the thing. That's the truth that many, many, many people, it's all over YouTube, how to lose belly fat, how to... You, because they know it's going to sell. But me, I'm not those kind of trainers who just tell you what's going to sell. I'll just tell you the truth. Because biologically speaking, when we work out, I know um, out there they sell fitness, they sell these teas that burn. It's not true. The way to lose belly fat is you work out as a whole and your body burns, it burns fat as a whole. Your body was created to work as one unit. So... It doesn't, it doesn't work in a way that, okay, I will only, now I'm exercising and it, I'm only targeting this part only. No, it's going to make you toner as a whole. And many times, here's the not so good news. Many times the belly fat is, is usually the last one to go. Um, but many times, if you're disciplined with your diet, if you are consistent with your working out, eventually it will trim up, it will start to tone. And then about the operation, it's true. You should not do sit-ups at all. If you've had, uh, if you've had uh, any operation or any kind of cyst or anything. So the best exercise to tone up your core or rather to strengthen, let's say to strengthen your core. And what I usually really advise is work out for strength. Let me tell you, when you're working out for strength, like the movements I've shown you are strength workouts. When you're engaging your muscle, what happens, the fat burning process, how it starts, is your muscles are metabolically active. That just means that as they are being worked, they demand for more energy. And that energy, they're tapping, they're, they're getting it from your fat stores. And that's how people become leaner or more um, toned when you do strength exercises. So... The best one to like help your core to be stronger is like planks, what we've just done, or uh, holding. You don't have to. Did you feel anything in the Russian twist? Yeah, you did. So instead of twisting, you just hold instead. Instead of twisting, you just hold it, and you can time yourself. Or do the modified plank. Another way to modify the plank, by the way, is. You can use a seat. It's because you are limited. We, have very, we had very little time. But you can do that same plank on a seat. You see how you land it on the floor? You can just now put your elbows on a seat. Make sure your whole body is straight. That way you're training your core to become engaged um, and get stronger and stronger to hold a longer plank on the floor. So you can begin there. Planks are very, they're one of the most recommended exercises because they strengthen your entire posture and all those things. But what I can say to all of us is that there's no one specific exercise or diet that loses only your, your tummy. It has to be all-rounded. And your body chooses where it's starting. So, so yeah, that's the not so good news, I guess, that uh, ladies don't like to hear. But it's the truth. I would not lie to you. I, I, don't, like to, I don't like to sell things that are not true. So, yeah. I've, 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 I've answered. So. Okay, before we wind up, huh? I've been doing these exercises through YouTube. You don't need to go to the gym to do them. Um, through the YouTube, you can watch and follow. And when I've been doing that, I've been having a lot of pain on my knee. And the way I work, there are stairs. So sometimes when I'm moving down the stairs or up the stairs, I feel some pain on the knee. Like there's a quacking thing on the knee. And today I didn't feel anything. When we went there and we prayed for, our sister Beth prayed for us. I did trust that the Lord is going to heal my knee. I've been moving it up.